Hi, Rob Saya. In this video, let's set up the pathfinding for our enemy. So our enemy can follow the player. It's really amazing using the Gado's navigation system. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first of all, let's go and create a new scene for our enemy. Oh, I actually made a control node. Oh shit, that's it. Okay, okay, I deleted it. Now I'll create a character body 2D for our enemy. Then I'm gonna add a collision shape for our enemy. I'm gonna create it a circle. Now let's use this circle as our sprite. It's a little cool trick I use. Uh, instead of lowering the opacity like we used to do, we make the opacity full. Now I can just set up any color. And this is just a placeholder holder sprite for our enemy. And we're gonna set up animations later. Now let's rename the sprite to enemy. Okay, now let's save the scene. Okay, now let's add a script here. Uh, I'm gonna create a new folder for the script. Let's create, call it scripts. And okay, let's create a script for our enemy. Now, before setting up any code, we go to the world layer. And in the tile set, we go to the inspector and while this selected go to this drop down called navigation layer i have already created one let's delete it and create a new one let's add element and now a navigation layer is added go to the paint property in the setup menu and now you have a collision shape like that of the nav physics layer one but now this is the area where the player can walk so i'm going to do it on the grass and the pathways Okay, now now that we have set up this, we can add a navigation agent node. This will allow our player to find our path, like the enemy to find the path toward our player on the area that we defined. Okay, now let's create a, a reference by dragging and dropping and releasing by holding control and create a variable for our player. Okay. Oh, actually, I forgot to add var here. <laughs> yeah, let's name it player. It's going to be our type of character body 2D. It's an export variable, so we can just assign it a value through the inspector. We're going to assign it the player node. Let's create a function called physics process delta function. And let's create a variable called direction. This is going to be the direction toward the player. And what we are going to do is we're going to ask a navigation agent 2d dot uh, get it's get underscore path okay get next path position so it's gonna like tell us the direction toward the player and it's called as local i think uh, to get a local axis uh, i'm not sure let's try as local okay i'm not sure what what to do here uh, let's move on and we'll do it in, in a bit Okay, uh, now what, what we are going to do is we're going to set the velocity. Velocity to this direction multiplied by a speed. Uh, we, it can be a number, I'm just going to create a variable. Let's put it an export variable so we can assign the variable to the inspector. It's going to be zero by default, so make sure you assign it a value, else the player won't move. Let's time speed. Okay, now, uh, okay, I think I messed up a little bit here. Okay, it's a float, not float. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, now let's move on. Let's call move and slide so our player can move. Uh, that's just a function you need to call if you use velocity. Now let's connect the timer function of the timer we added. Uh, okay. Now in the timer function, what we're gonna do is so when the timer runs out, every time the timer runs out, what we're gonna do is that a navigation agent has a property called the target position. Uh, it just helps it get the position, like the path toward that point. And we're going to set this point to the player. And every time, like this timer runs out, we're going to uh, update the path, like the target position to the player's position. Uh, make sure, uh, this is to, we don't do it every frame because that's going to be a little bit performance heavy. And we're going to do it every 0 0.1 seconds. And yes, we are all done. What we need to do is we go to the file system and in the scene, let's drag and drop the enemy scene. 
Uh, make sure you don't drag it on top of the player because sometimes the enemy just sticks on it to hit. And uh, I made an oopsie here. Did I? Okay, uh, yeah, I didn't assign the player variable to the player. And let's move. Okay. Oh, visible collision shape isn't enabled. Okay, visible collision shape. Now, okay, now the... It, oh, I think I didn't assign the variable speed. Let me assign the speed variable. Oh, wait, where the hell is that? Oh my god. Uh, let's just assign it to a 3D specter. Uh, let's do it. And why the hell is it 100? Uh, let's set it to 1. That should be good. Oh, I think I just assign changed the value of the player. No, I can move. <laughs> I just. I'm making oopsie or oopsie. Let's just make the player speed normal and let's assign the speed variable and I'll come back. Okay, I did it all the stuff. So, sorry for being a little bit stupid. And yes, everything is working. I set a value for the speed variable and yes, it's working. 